Hello and welcome to another episode of Whiskify TV. I'm your host Jez and this is episode 103 of, as I said, Whiskify TV where you guys tune in and I tell you guys about the bourbon I'm drinking. So this week we're going a little bit left field. We're doing a Tennessee whiskey and you guys like Jack Daniels. Of course it's Jack Daniels. Only because on the 12th of December, which is three days ago, two days ago, However many days ago this is recording, it is Frank Sinatra's birthday. So, rather than doing a bottle of Sinatra Selector like I have previously done, or on the flip side, upsetting the darling wife and opening up her beautiful Sinatra Century, which is just to the right of me, left of you, or maybe it's on the right of you, who knows? You may have a bottle of your own. I thought I'd go something a little bit more simple and go for the classic Jack Daniels Single Barrel Select Bobo Distillers Smooth Selection. So you guys can kind of see that there. Drop that down. Perfect. This juice is uh, a release that was done for Australia where barrels were picked. I don't know how many barrels were picked, but barrels were picked. Um, they at one barrel or four barrels like there was enough to service the Dan Murphy stores across Australia so there's like there's a fair few stores and I know I got four bottles from one store alone so you know there's obviously say there's 150 bottles in a barrel there's I don't, there's a few I'm, I'm not good with math someone do the math for me on the back end and pull that bottle out so with this nice little box it comes in it's pretty standard for jack releases it also comes with a nice pretty little neck tag that says bobo distillers smooth selection 2020 and it's in their classic jack daniels single barrel decanter now before i kick off into the stats i'll get this poured and we'll see if i spill any so last week i spilled some this week we'll see nice cork pop don't punch myself in the face Pop. As per usual, I did do the tasting notes. God. I was going to say, I didn't wash the glasses this week, but the glasses were washed, but there's like soap suds on the outside. So let's hope that doesn't play with the tasting notes there. Now, how long has it been? Three minutes, and I haven't told you anything about this bottle yet. So... As I said, Jack Daniel Single Barrel Select Bobo and Fletcher Smooth Selection. It is 90 proof, 45% non-age stated, new charred American oak running 80% corn, 8% rye and 12% malted barley. Notice this week we didn't get 101% in our little mash bill. Now, I did pay $50 a bottle for this because they were clearing it out and I was like, well, you know, I need four bottles. I went in for five, but uh, yes, I did buy a few. Uh, you can't buy them in the US because it's Australian only barrel pick from what I'm aware, but you're looking about 53 bucks if you're going for a single barrel plus tax. They retail in about a hundred bucks Australian as well. If you're able to find one that isn't on clearance, but if you're able to get one on clearance, you're doing all right. Now, let me just crack into the uh, these notes here. Actually, I will, I'll start off, as I said, so we're kind of celebrating Frank Sinatra's birthday this week on the, on the 12th of December. Going for the smooth, if you guys want to make a Frank Sinatra cocktail, because I did get this email from Jack Daniels. I'll say that confidently. You get a, it's called the 321 or something. So you drop three ice cubes in a glass, pour two fingers. So it depends how big your fingers are. Mine are in the little fingers. So I'd probably go three, three fingers of uh, your either Sinatra Century, Sinatra Select. And you add a dash of water. Or you just skip the water because you've already got three cubes of ice in there and you have a 321. So. There you guys go. So, 
Jack Daniels Smooth Selection was one of four releases part of the Jack Daniels Bobo and Fletcher release. These single barrel picks going back to 2020, hence the little name tag there, the 2020. The other bottles, jeez, helps if I can read my own writing. The other bottles in this lineup featured a bold selection, a balanced selection, the uh, barrel strength release, and there's also one behind me there to the right of me. And obviously the smooth selection. But as I said, it wasn't really clear whether it was like one barrel per uh, line, I guess, I'm gonna call a skew. We'll call them a skew. Yeah, one barrel per skew, or if it was multiple barrels, who knows. This was a joint collaboration between the fifth master distiller for Jack Daniels being Frank Bobo, which whom sadly passed on the 15th, the first 2020. So it's actually cool to kind of have this bottle here and was also involved with his grandson, uh, assistant master distiller, Chris Fletcher, whom is now the eighth generation master distiller at Jack Daniels. Uh, Jeff Arnett also had his hand in this being the master distiller at the time back in 2020 when he picked said barrel. So let's kind of kick off because I've kind of covered everything as well. And as per usual, I did the tasting notes beforehand. So just on the nose, Hmm. It's kind of a, as I've been finding lately, I'm getting like a new note when I'm tasting on, on film. So straight off the bat, I got like this fresh apple slices kind of vibe. But the more I kind of stood there and nosed it, it kind of went to like a cold apple pie, apple turnover. With like some caramel notes on there. So start Here's something I found on the web. Alexa okay. silence. I apologize for her. Yeah. No, she's throwing me. Uh fresh apple slices, caramel. Uh apple pie, apple strudel kind of well not really apple strudel, more of like a cold kind of offering. Yeah, super clean. Now, for the taste. Mm. So, in typical Jack Daniels fashion, uh, for our 45%, it's really, it's got a medium viscosity Pop loves it when I use the word viscosity, so there you go, Pops. Medium viscosity there, but as I kind of just, I get, took a sip or put it in my mouth, as Dave would say, it gave me this uh, banana note, which is very typical with the Jack Daniels line, but it was more of like a, like that fake banana kind of mineral note you'd find. Oh, sorry. Was it fake banana or real banana? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Sorry, this real banana and kind of like that mineral note there as well, be it from the charcoal mellowing, but yeah, definitely feels like it's been like run through maple charcoal, obviously. I lost where I was going with that, so I'll try and pick it up. Um, do I have anything written down? Yeah, and, and just some spice on the side of the tongue there as well, as I kind of gave it a Kentucky chew. It, but there wasn't too much else going on there, which was interesting that like flavors kind of came forward as soon as I, I tasted it, kind of did Kentucky chew. Now, for the finish. Mm. 
just want to say, as I went to nose that thing again, that thing, this delicious drop again, it kind of had this banana note come through as well. So it just, it's really odd for, I guess, this nose to change as well, like as it, as it opens up. It's not really odd, we were expecting it to, but just new flavors kind of coming through. So could have let this sit for a bit longer, but no, it's weird. See, not now, but is it kind of, who knows? Ah, for the, for the finish, I want to say a long finish of toasted oak and kind of this smoky campfire note, which was very interesting considering this was called the smooth selection. I didn't really feel much of a Kentucky hug, so I don't know where the smooth aspect, maybe it's nose with those crisp apple fruit, uh, slices apple pie kind of vibe because I would find those notes different to like the standard single barrel I drink for Jack Daniels like it's I, I can easily say that it's definitely different to the standard offering if you guys wanted to try it I'm not really missing anything else on the finish there just yeah long finish charred oak smoky campfireness um, I'm going to finish that in a second, but I will break it down to the buy, bar, or pass method of whether I pick up the bottle or not. Now, I already did. I bought four of them because they were 50 bucks. After tasting it, because it's the first time me tasting it, I would say the nose is very clean, as I said, that fresh fruit, the cold apple pie, it's kind of like desserty notes, always make a bourbon much more enjoyable. For my second note, I've got long finishes are always good, especially when they're toasted oak. Like, I love those long lingering finishes like toasted oak, delicious, oh, delicious. And that, that's all I got. So I'm gonna mark this down as a buy because who doesn't like a good dessert bourbon, especially this being odd because it is Jack Daniels and I wouldn't consider Jack Daniels a, oh, I would because it's got that toasted banana bread note to it normally, but this going for more of an apple pie note, it's kind of, who knows. But I'm very excited, especially because there is a Jack Daniels event coming up on Wednesday, which would be tonight or last night, depends when you guys see this, but I cannot wait. So hopefully it goes out early Wednesday morning and anyone in Australia, particularly Sydney, can go up to this Jack Daniels event if it has not sold out. It is at Webster's, but that is enough of a plug because you guys should be going. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you guys can find a bottle of this, especially at 50 bucks because it is top notch. Thank y'all, love y'all. Please check out my socials because I'm doing, I guess some cool giveaways. If you guys want free stuff, I love free stuff. So, hey, don't send me free stuff because I got enough stuff. So thank you, love y'all, stay thirsty. Enjoy your Whiskey Wednesday. I'm Jez. Peace.